Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Slippy back for another episode of Metroid Fusion. The last time we defeated Ceres in Sector 3. And. Let's see what Adam has to say. Ceres has been infected by the X. You recovered another ability. At this rate, you may be able to face the SAX. That's still a ways off. Issue has more support data. This time it's missile upgrade data. Desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed with level 4 lock. Highest security lock. Let's avoid opening it. It's not necessary. Blah, blah, blah. The route to Sector 2 is blocked. Deliberate activity as if it is blocking your recovery intentionally. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that. Oh wait, we're not in Sector 3, we're in Sector 4. It's Sector 3 where we have to go to, okay. We haven't been to Sector 3 yet. Sector 3 PYR? Does that stand for Pyro? Because I'm pretty sure there's like, fire environments in Sector 3, so that would make sense. We uh, do not have capabilities to handle high temperatures yet, so super hot rooms we won't be able to stay in without taking damage. There's a suit upgrade later in the game that we'll get that uh, will allow us to be in high, higher low temperature areas. And, of course, we have to talk to Adam again, even though he already gave us our objective. But we have to get the map, so that's cool. Thankfully, the X have not invaded this area yet. Data room here is sealed by another security hatch. Uh, I need to activate the hatches to get the download. Yep. Same old, same old. At this point, you should know what we're doing. Open the hatch. Get the upgrade. Yeah. Can't stand such high temperatures, we're working on it. Yeah, I just talked about that. Security hatches are green. Um, the upgrade this time is super missiles, which will make our missiles more powerful. Turn back if you enter a superheated room. Yep. I know. So let's go get our missile upgrade. Oh, this area. I believe this is the area with the... Uh, where you do the trick to uh, avoid the quote unavoidable missile expansion I think yeah there we go okay I thought this was where the security hatch is See, I do remember some things, even though I haven't played this game in a really long time. I like that little jingle right there. Okay, I have to... I think I have to build up another speed boost. So let's do this. And I hit my head. Oop. That was not what I was supposed to do. I have to go down here anyway, don't I? Yeah. Uh, let's go back here by the door. Build up my speed. Okay. Now we are good. Wait, am I going the right way? I'm not even going the right way. This is an area for later in the game. I guess I'm stuck now. I'm not gonna cut anything out though. I don't want to have to cut things out unless I need to. Yeah, this is that unavoidable missile expansion. Basically, that area where I was trying to somersault jump up, like, that first part where those long protruding head guys, I don't know what they're called, or basically you somersault jump all the way up to the top with speed boost power, like active, and then you boost through this and you can avoid uh, getting that missile expansion. But basically your timing has to be godlike 
you have to have reaction time within like a certain number of frames. It's almost impossible to do without tools. Basically, you have to use slowdown to do it. There's n no documented proof of anyone ever doing it without tool assistance. And obviously this isn't a tool assisted run. This is a casual playthrough, so I'm not gonna attempt to do anything like that. And the missile upgrade was on my way, so I picked it up. Sweet! I have super missiles now. I have 25 missiles, that's more than enough. And slow down, yay for having a lame computer. I actually broke my power button a couple days ago and had to fix it because my computer wouldn't turn on. <laughs> Alright, let's fight this guy. He shoots out a little flame thing. Uh, you have to be under it when it uh, detonates to avoid taking damage by it. And basically, the only way to damage this guy is to be right above the uh, brown part of him and shoot down on him. You don't have to use missiles, but they do more damage. And this fight will get done much more quickly, and it's already done. Nice. Very nice. Whoa. And you jump up here, because our, all our other uh, exit points are blocked. Die. Die in one missile, very nice. Do you die in one missile? Yes, you do. Haha. <laughs> I love using missiles. I usually don't abuse missiles when I play this game, but since I'm actually picking up missile expansions in this run... Wow, that guy did a lot of damage. I think there's like a health upgrade here. I guess I'll get it. Why not? I don't need it, but who knows. I never know when I'll need a third energy tank. Okay, so... I think we're actually done in this sector now, so... Let's move on to our next objective, whatever that is. Let's talk to Adam. Dang, I'm eight minutes into this already? See that you encountered a rogue security robot. You may destroy it if you meet it again, and we will. Your safety is vital. Security two locks are open, and security... Eh! Sectors five and six are open. They've likely been infiltrated by X. Sector five is sub-zero, and we're still susceptible to cold. So we'll take damage if we set in there, and so we'll avoid it for now. X have destroyed all the data rooms we've used so far. Oh no. Okay, so we have to go to Sector 6 and access the data room there. Because that has not been destroyed yet. Yes, the objective is clear. Tread lightly. I'm the only one that can do this. The X may, may be much more dangerous than we know. Indeed, the X are very dangerous. Oh, what's this? Does Samus suspect anything? No, I do not think so. Good. Monitor her closely. Affirmative. Out. What's this? Some shady activity going on behind the scenes? That they don't want Samus to know about? This can't be. They wouldn't want to hide anything from Samus. Come on now. But yeah, they, um, they are hiding things from her. But anyway, wouldn't it be, uh, a good I idea to just destroy this, uh, space station if the X are so dangerous? That wasn't foreshadowing anything. <laughs> um, 
various suit data is here. Okay, that's the suit that lets me uh, uh, withstand high temperatures. And the uh, X, X that have minute. Uh, I can't talk today. X that have been manipulated by cold temperatures are here, so if I absorb them, I will be hurt. So I shouldn't do that until I have the various suit. And when you have the various suit, you can absorb them. And you recover more health than with the normal yellow ones. Alright, so where do I go now? Oh, this place, the dark place. Okay. I remember this. So, uh... I know I already talked about this in a, a Mario video, but I'm going to talk about it again. Um, the, uh... Oh, get away from me. I go here? Ah! I definitely do not want to go there. Okay, the date the world is supposed to end is coming soon, December 21st. And, uh... Surprisingly, I haven't heard many people talking about it. But, uh... I I said before the uh, Mayans didn't finish their calendar, but uh, I actually don't know if that's true. But I do know December 21st... Oh, I have to speed boost this. Ow, ow, oh, come on. He knocked me into the other one. Stay away from me, you. But, uh, okay, December 21st is not the end of the Mayan calendar. It is the end of the Bakhtun, which is... Oh, are you serious? Which is was the Mayans' uh, longest... Uh, their biggest... What do you call it? Measurement of time. It's basically like their version of our millennium. So, it's... December 21st, 2012. Is simply the end of a Bakhtun. So that means nothing. So there's absolutely no reason for anyone to be hyped up. But, you know, it, people always want to find a date to talk about as far as, you know, world ending. Oh, here's the SAX again. Hello, Mr. SAX. What are you up to? But anyway, uh... There was one philosopher that predicted the world ending in 2015. Ah, power bomb, get out of the way. And there's also that, uh, you know, uh, 2032 crisis. It's basically like, you know, hardware failure type thing. Ow, did I seriously just die? Wow. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, hello again, Mr. SAX. Hopefully I will not touch you this time like a retard and die. Because you are not friendly. I guess you don't want to be hugged. I just wanted to show some love, man. Come on. Oh, well, I guess that's what I get for, uh... For not saving. <laughs> Trying to save time by not using save rooms in this playthrough. Just grab on here. Okay, don't go in there. And I'll wait for him. And awesome. <laughs> I had to redo everything that I just did in this video up to the point I died. Which is lame. Okay, let's save just in case. This boss coming up is easy, but... You never know. I've beaten him before with one energy tank, so it's not too bad. But who knows? I might I might die. So I think I'll be saving more often now. Even though I've only died once. I just want to be on the safe side. Oh! Boss door. Boss door next to a data room. Hmm, I wonder why. That's kinda weird. Let's see what's up. Oh, it's a Corex! Kill it! Kill it! Yeah, that's right. It just absorbed our data. And 
now. It's a giant Corex. Come at me, bro. Basically, I just like to charge up my shot until it gets close and try to, like, bypass its little shields on the outside and hit the actual core. I wait for it to come near me. I don't move around too much. And it's dead. Er, almost. Stuff to kill the core. Oh, damn it! I almost did it without losing an energy tank. The actual core is harder than than the boss. The thing I'm facing now is the hardest part. Various suit. Survive extreme temperatures. Awesome. Now we can uh, absorb those blue X. And we're changing colors, we're yellow and orange. We look like... We look weird, we look like a beating heart. Anyway... Okay, I don't need that save room. I'll skip that one for now. Um, what was I talking about before I cut the video? Oh yeah. End of the world stuff. That... The 2032 thing was the last thing I mentioned. Basically, it's like the Y2K thing. I don't think there's anything to worry about with that. It's just computers anyway. It's not like an end of the world crisis. But, you know, the whole thing with end of the world and like people getting hyped up with dates that are supposed to be when the world ends. What? What's the point? Like... Do you really want to know? That kind of... I don't know, it's kind of depressing to learn the end of the world, because then it just kind of... You're just in constant fear and... and anxiety of when the date is going to come, like, if you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it almost... You almost can't have fun or happiness if you know when it's gonna be, if you're just expecting it, you know? But really, there's no way of us knowing anyway, so... I don't know why people think there is. There's no way of us knowing when the world's gonna end. There's no way of us knowing what's gonna happen after we die, because no one's been dead and came back. Yes, I understand people have been, like, medically declared dead, and then came back, but that's just like because their heart, you know, stopped for a period of time or stuff like that. No one's been actually actually been dead, like to the point of not coming back and came back. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe anyone's ever came back from the dead, so there's no way of us knowing what happens after we die. I don't want to really get into religion, but most religions are based on astrology. They're all, you know, about the stars and stuff like that. Human personification of, uh, you know, astrological patterns and constellations and stuff like that. Just, okay. We might be able to absorb plasma beam by absorbing a large core X, as we did with the charge beam. Storing the ice beam, I doubt your current cellular makeup would reject that addition. Alright, so instead of an ice beam in this Metroid game, we have missile. Or er, ice missiles. So it's a little bit different. Now get moving. Okay. So basically, ice missiles work the same as the charge beam did. Like, on the shot that's gonna kill an enemy it's gonna freeze it instead of oh wait no that's what am I talking about that's the original Metroid the first shot will freeze them in this won't it yeah I, I think so I will see if I'm wrong I don't really know what I'm talking about I'm tired okay uh, 
we're at about 20 minutes on the recording. I don't know if I'm going to stop now or go a little bit longer. And, of course, we have to talk to Adam again. Get our map. Have him, you know, tell us again what our objective is. The data room here is secured, of course. Level 3 security hatches. What a surprise. Yes, my objective's clear. I know what to do. I don't need that save room. Screw you. This is an easy area. I'm pretty sure I know what to do here. Missile that. And go through here, because we can't go through those hatches. Okay, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, there was one more thing. Um, th this article I read recently... Uh, this hap this happened like late November, I think. Um, this guy in Belgium. Okay, he him and his wife are married for 19 years. Okay, and everything's fine, you know, no problems. They love each other. It's all fine and dandy. After 19 years of marriage, wow, a lot of slowdown. After 19 years of marriage, he finds out she's transgender. She was born a man. And now they're getting divorced. Like, what? You had no problems. You loved her. Like, why does that matter? A transgender person, like, they are the gender they identify with. Okay? She is a woman. Like, it shouldn't make a difference. Excuse the language, but I mean, that's kind of bullshit that he reacted that way. I mean, he should still love her. It shouldn't make a difference. It wouldn't make a difference to me. She's still a woman. I don't know. I, I just wish people could be more open-minded about stuff like that. It's 2012 and we still have homophobia and transphobia, which really sucks. It pisses me off. But anyway, on that note of me being pissed off, <laughs> I think I'm going to end the video here. So next time we're going to continue on and find out where that, uh, that security room is. So until next time, I've been Slippy318, and I'll see you guys later.